We have 6.18 on the clock, Jim, as we were talking about. Just, uh, the Kingston Buccaneers, they have hung around. They played good basketball, played smart basketball. They able to handle that remember tonight's press, but then on the other end, utilizing that zone defense to keep the Knights uh, taking in the nice shot and then turn the basketball over. No, it's very true, but right now all the momentum is Kingston's way, and you can see the Bremerton players are just panicking. Uh, Trayvon, fortunately, Coach Davis called a timeout there because Trayvon Pence was going down there into, into the trees and was going to get himself in trouble. And, uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> this is a game of, of streaks and momentum, and right now the Kingston Buccaneers have it. And and the, crowd, the, the, the Kingston crowd is having a big effect upon the, the Bremerton psyche. Yeah, look at that. Uh, you'll see uh, maybe Dave can pan the, the, the fans on the other side of the floor when we get a break uh, at some point in time, but it's 50 to 39. With the Knights with the basketball. Pete's to Tucker. Boy, yeah, a long way to go and a short time to get there. With 6.07 to go here in the contest. Tucker, off angle three, fires a three, it heads. Big shot by Sam Tucker. The ripple and the triple for Tucker. 50 to 42. And uh, full court press shown by the Bremer tonight. Jab down a play by the Knights. The Buccaneers. We'll try to get it out of the backcourt pressure. Turn the basketball over. Tucker goes into the lane as the basketball is knocked out of his hands by Walter. Or by the trial, rather. And a foul called in the Buccaneers. So just like that, you see some of that momentum swinging back towards the Bremerton Knights. They trail it by eight with 5.46 to go here in the game. Tucker finally gets it in. Gets it in, dude. Pete who scoops and scores. 50 to 44. This time they'll break the press. Get it out underneath. They'll skip the ball out for a five, start for three, off the mark. Walter will track down the rebound. Has the ball jabbed out of his hands and a foul called on the Bremerton Knights. And for the Buccaneers, they could win this thing from the free throw line with Noah Walter going there to help extend that lead back up as it sits at six right now. Nine point lead was their biggest bulge of the evening. So Ben flex and nestle in the free throw. Fifteen points now for Walter. Make it sixteen. Okay, the lead back to eight. Tucker and on top, the peach near angle. Cross court pass to Tucker, who just uh, drained a three or a minute ago, and he hits another one. Big buckets by Sam Tucker. 52 to 47. Long shot by Hubbard, not the mark, though good. Rebound underneath. And we have a pushing foul on. Deuce ball foul called on the, the Buccaneers. Number 20. Got tied to trial. Whistle for the foul and the loose ball foul. I thought my KTD might burn a timeout to settle down his club, and they do. There's 504 to go here in the fourth quarter tonight. Have crept back in it. It's the Bucks 52. Tonight's 47 back in 30 seconds on the Bremerton Basketball Broadcasting Network. When you find yourself in need of insurance, you ask yourself, where do I go? Who's the best? Who's the most affordable? If this is you, your questions have been answered. H&K Insurance. H&K Insurance is an independent insurance agency specializing in customized policies. They represent a variety of different insurance companies who offer comprehensive packages at affordable prices, like Kemper, Travelers, and Pemco. H&K Insurance has three locations, Silverdale, Port Orchard, and in Bremerton. To see how H&K Insurance can assist you, call 360-377-7645. H&K Insurance. We're here for you. That was kind of a neat little uh, unique thing they were doing at the break, wasn't it? Yeah, cheerleaders actually went up in the crowd and um, they were using the uh, wooden bleachers as a sound effect. Everybody having a good time here at... Uh, well, that's because because Kingston's winning right now. Yeah. So we're going, what the heck's going on around here? But... 
The Knights led the basketball trading by five with five oh four to go here in the fourth. Big offensive possession for the Bremerton Knights. They'll get bigger from here on out. Pete's with the basketball near angle back on top to Tucker. Tucker just finally settled for a three. Back iron, no good. And he goes up high in the air and it hits uh, some kind of wire that's uh, on top. Yeah, yeah it's that, that basket design they've had is bad where you got that cable that's hanging down at a diagonal yeah. in an angle. <laughs> Stand will break. Now go on one on three. He goes high in the air, lays it up, and then going coast to coast to go to Stanley. Big, big bucket. Bremerton's panicking again. 54 to 47. And a foul called in the Buccaneers as the Bremerton Knights come back the other way. Scott Evans will whistle the. We'll count the bucket by Candango and a foul called on Noah Walter. Yeah, Candango drove the, drove the key with two players on him, and um, fortunately he got fouled and the basket. Okay, and so he'll go to the free. Go in. Five points and a 50 for Candango, and he can't convert. Boy, going up. Very high as the troll to pull down a big rebound for the Kingston Buccaneers, who did it by five, 54 to 49, 425 to go here in the game. Reese Hernandez to Hubbard, to Walter, far side of the floor, back on the top to Reese Hernandez for three. These are short. Rebound pulled down by Allen. Peets in the front court to Tucker. On top to Peets, drives into the free throw line, but he hops in. Forces a path three to Allen, the ball jabbed away. And wisely, Hubbard will pull it back up to Stanley for three, and he leaves it short. And it's safe from going out of bounds, no. Boy, if uh, Stanley would have hit that one, this place would have got oh, nutso. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right now, they're, they're clinching their fist and their fist and gnashing their teeth and, as the Bremerton Knights look to creep in and look closer, turning it by five. 54 to 49, 3.38 to go. Tucker goes up and is fouled at the free throw line. I believe Reese Hernandez reached in and whistled for the foul. It is him. And Tucker will go to the free throw line for the Bremerton Knights. Bremerton making a lot of loose passes, Kevin. Just, you know, cocky passes, the ones that, you know, that you make when you're relaxed and so on. And those are dangerous passes. Tucker. Big one-on-one -on -one opportunity. It's the first one to roll in. 54 to 50. Fifty-four, hits 51. Them, hits them both. Back to a one possession game. With 3.30 to go in the contest. Ball deflected back in the backcourt, retrieved by Hubbard. The Stanley, cross-court pass. The baseline to Walter, gets people off their feet. Back in on top to Hubbard. Stanley for three, Air no ball. good. But saving it was uh, Natral. The Hubbard for three, no good. On the rebound pulled down by Walter. Turn, spins from 10 and hits. 